Hey everyone, today we are going to do a review of Food Republic on the NCL Joy. Come join us. Hey everyone, I'm your host, John from Bite Size Cruises, switching it up today. Uh, we're a small travel agency. We specialize in cruise travel. Just try to give you some great information about cruising so you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. That sounds good to you. We'd love for you to subscribe. We put out a brand new video every weekday at 4 p.m. and every weekend at 1 p.m. So uh, come check us out. We're gonna do a food review today, a specialty dining review on Food Republic on NCL Joy. We've been at Food Republic on almost every cruise ship that has it. I really enjoy Food Republic. The problem is, is that it's a la carte or you have to waste a food, uh, like one of your dining package credits on it, which I don't love. But here's what I do love. I love their food. I love the concept. I love everything about it. So when you go to Food Republic, it is on deck eight on NCL Joy. It's on the side wing of the cruise ship there. On the other side is District Brew House. They're across from each other there. Um, if you order food at District Brew House, it's coming from Food Republic. So let's talk about what they serve there. It is a fusion menu. They do have sushi, so you can get any number of rolls. I'm not gonna go through all the rolls here, but they all average about 17 to $20, which is normal for sushi. But when you're doing a la carte food, it gets out of hand pretty quickly because you always order, you know, when you order sushi, you order way too many rolls. So they have that. They have little appetizers uh, that you can get. These range from like eight bucks up. Edamame is eight bucks. That's way too much money for edamame, I think. Um, they have uh, Thai chicken lettuce wraps, pork belly bao buns, tuna pizza, wonton tacos. We had those wonton tacos. They were really good. They're 15 bucks. They have firecracker shrimp, which is, of course, bang bang shrimp or whatever you're calling it. Uh, then they have little share platters, which you can get like shishito peppers, Tijuana street fried, Korean fried chicken. They have a lot of different food options here. They have a pork loin schnitzel, uh, calamari, tuna poke nachos. We got those. Those were really good as well. There's a tuna stack. They have um, some hot things like your chicken teriyaki, your pork belly, beef skewers, lamb, Mexican corn with your like cream and uh, cotilla cheese on it. All that stuff is really good. Then they even go further with uh, the amount of things on the menu. So they have noodles, rice, and soup. So you have your like pad thai, kimchi, kimchi fried rice. They have ramen with barbecue pork belly. There's something here for everyone if you like that Asian fusion food. They have dumplings, they have pork belly dumplings, they have pastrami and sauerkraut dumplings, which is really interesting. Uh, and then they have a bunch of desserts, like a little green tea jar, uh, black forest cake, dark and stormy, a uh, little rum uh, thing that you can get. So lots of good items here. It is a little bit more expensive than I would prefer. Like I said, we went for lunch there one day. I generally will do Food Republic for lunch or like a fun dinner if you have a group. I think that's kind of my go-to recommendation. If you have like five or six people, you want to go to Food Republic, I think that's probably your best kind of bang for your buck. They have little iPads there. So basically you just go in and you hit what you want. You hit order. Someone will come over and verify your order and then they will just start dropping food as it as it's ready. But if you had five or six people and you each spent like $13, that's not bad for lunch and you could try a ton of different things. I think that's probably your best bet. With Meg and I, we went, we spent like $60 on lunch because we tried it. We wanted to try a few different things and $60 for lunch is way too much money. But if we each spent 10 or 15, like maybe if we had, but, but we really didn't have much food. We had one roll and two other appetizers. So, it's just expensive. Things are just expensive. The roll was like 20 bucks because we got like an eel roll. Then we got the pork belly and the the, the pork belly bao buns. And we got the um, edamame. So that's four things that we got. And we got the tuna poke nachos. $64, I think it was. So a little too expensive for my taste there. But if you're doing like a fun all hands on deck dinner, I think that's a great idea. If you could each spend like 
15 or 20 bucks. That doesn't seem bad if there's five or six people, 120 bucks between the six of you and you get six different dishes and you can each try something. That's probably a fun lunch or dinner. I wouldn't mind spending 20 bucks. So have you tried Food Republic? What are your thoughts of it? Do you like it? Do you think it's overpriced? If you use your food package on it, I don't know how many, I think it's like 40, I think it's like 35 or $40. I think it's similar to what Royal does with Izumi, uh, the fixed price Izumi. But I'll double check that and we'll get some more information on it. But let us know your thoughts. Do you like Food Republic? Is that like a cool thing for you? It reminds me of the Indulge Food Hall on the new Prima class ships, which I really enjoyed the Indulge Food Hall. It's one of the only things I liked on Prima. But there you go. Uh, that's our video for today. We really enjoyed it. I do recommend Food Republic. Just mind your P's and Q's on the bill there so you don't get a like crazy expensive bill. Uh, that's it. We will see everybody tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye.